if you're into large scale farming you got to have your favorite tractor your favorite harvester your favorite self-propelled pieces of equipment and all the other really large pieces of equipment here for farming simulator 22. what if i told you with only one other piece of equipment you could replace all of these if you enjoyed today's video make sure to hit like subscribe and turn on your notifications how's it going everybody driver 53 here and today i'm going to introduce to you the wide span vehicle system here for farming simulator 22. now this is by dog face and bdbssb yes it's a tongue twister but they're awesome modders guys we have got the lizard version of the nexat and if you don't know what the next set is, well, it's a very large piece of equipment here that has different modules that you put into this area right here. It can do everything from harvesting to planting to plowing to fertilizing. Guys, this thing does it all. As of July 21st, 2024, these are the available modules for it. You've got a slurry spreader right here. You've got a plow and a cultivator. You've got a cedar. You've got a planter. You've got a sprayer. And you even have a harvesting module right here as well. And once again, it's July 21st, 2024. There may be additional ones also available if you see this video after this date. You need to make sure that at the very top, you see the WSVS icon. Those are going to be the ones that you need. I'm going to go and start off with the main piece of equipment that you need, and that is the wide span vehicle system itself. You can see here that it actually comes with the main uh, vehicle. Some call it a tractor. I'm going to call it a vehicle. And then you also have the harvesting module over here as well. On the main vehicle itself, you got a lot of different options. You can go EU or you can go US here on the different warning signs. Your design color, I mean, all your base game colors, a few other additional colors. Nothing crazy like some of the other ones that we've seen. Main color, exact same options. Rim color, base game stuff, except for Chrome. For the harvesting module, there's really no customization to it at all. You just get to pick your main color and your design color. And then to transport these modules around, you're going to need this hook lift trailer. Now, you absolutely can put these on the side of a field and leave them there while you're working around the rest of your fields. But if you need to transport this anywhere else around the map, you're going to need this hook lift trailer right here. Only $39,000, so it makes it worth it. Main color and your rim color are the only options that you have on this as well. So if we go main color here, you can see I'm going to go red and that's your rims. Main color right here. I'm going to go blue and you can see that that's really the siding. So you, the main white color or the black of the actual arms, you don't get to change that, but you can change it up a little bit. Once you get done harvesting, you're probably going to want to put a little bit of slurry down on the fields before you do any plowing or cultivating. Right here, base price $75,000. And once again, no customization except for the colors. Once you have your organic fertilizer there on the field, you're going to want to go ahead and cultivate or subsoil depending on what you need to do. The CLT1 here on the left is a base price of $56,500. You've got brackets, cultivator, and design colors. No other options other than that. If you need to do some plowing, you can absolutely choose the subsoil right here. It can be used as a plow. Once you get in here, you can see that you have a tool as a cultivator or as a plow. I highly recommend if you're doing any plowing, you turn this on right here. Once you got your fields ready for your seeds, now you need to go ahead and decide if you want a planter or a seeder. When you come in here, you can see all of your base crops that take a typical seeder uh, piece of machine to be able to put them in the ground. This is the one that you're going to need right here. Or if you're doing planting for your corn, your sunflowers, your soybeans, cotton, or your sugar beets, you're going to need this one here. When we come in here, the planter does have a little bit of a different container configuration. You can do two seeds and two fertilizer or all four of them seeds. It's 16,000 liter total capacity. If you've got the sprayer, you might just want to go ahead and go with all seeds here so this thing can stay out a super, super long time in your field without having to be refilled. As for the seeder, you don't have that option. It's only going to be 16,000 liters of seeds. So if you've got it on the seeder and you've got a planter as well, you might as well make both of them the same. But if you do like the fertilizer application being an option on the other one, then the 2 plus 2 is an absolutely perfect option as well. Once you get the seeds in the ground, you need to put a little bit of fertilizer or herbicide down. The sprayer right here will absolutely do the job for you. Now it's 40 meters wide. All these other pieces of equipment, they're only 13 meters wide, but this one is three times as wide, so it makes less tracks in your field. The only options you have for customization are your colors again, but the tank on this thing is 19,800 liter capacity, guys. That is a ton of fertilizer or a ton of herbicide. Once you have the module of choice that you want to use and you need to move it around your farm, go ahead and position your trailer right here next to the module. You see these different hook points right here? 
Well, you've got red dots here on this trailer that are going to appear on the ground. You need to line those up with those hooks right there and just a little bit underneath your trailer. Once your trailer's in place, go ahead and unfold it. I'm going to put some legs out to be able to keep it stabilized. Your arms are then going to fold out, as you can see here. It's then going to give you a command to go ahead and connect. You're going to do that. It's connected. Now what you need to do is toggle back over to your on your trailer again. Fold this thing back up. It's going to raise it up into place. Set it up there really nicely and go ahead and fold back up the legs. Once you get into the field and you're ready to use your piece of equipment, go ahead and grab your neck set and you want to stay in this orientation right here. You want to act like you're driving right along next to it. And then all you have to do is pull up and just go around on both sides. You're going to get a command and a boom. There you go. Now, the one really cool thing about this, if you want to actually change the direction, keep this piece of equipment active, but then say you need to transition over to another field over on the other side of the map. Well, all you need to do, hold your L1 and your X. And what it's going to do is go ahead and start transitioning into transportation mode. You can leave the modules on there in your transport as long as they're not sticking out too far and going to hit a whole bunch of stuff. Once it's ready, now you can continue moving and you are good to go. Now, the main question that I keep asking myself is why would anybody want to use this? And the answer that I come up with is cost because this thing, all six modules, your main component right here, the main tractor and your trailer is only going to cost you $921,000 if you don't do any other customization to it or slight modifications. That's what I was able to get all of these pieces of equipment right here that you see, including the sprayer back there in the background, $921,020. And if you come over here and think about how much all of these pieces of equipment cost, I mean, a harvester, you can spend half to three quarter of a million just on it. I, tractors right here, you could easily spend, you know, the exact same amount, if not almost a million dollars on those as well. And that's not including any of your slurry spreaders, your self propelled sprayer, your planters, your cedars, your cultivators, your plows. And guys, you could literally spend about a third of the amount of the money on it, this setup right here. So whether you're looking to do things a little bit different in Farming Simulator or you're looking to save a little bit more money on a brand new farm setup, I highly recommend checking out the Wide Span Vehicle System by Dogface and BDBSSB because I got a feeling this is the future of Farming Simulator. Well, that's going to be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like if you would. Make sure to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to keep up to date on my future videos. While you're waiting on those future videos, go and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53 signing off.